Uh, good afternoon, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom and this afternoon we're going to make some Bunyanut chutney. So it's Bunyanut apple and ginger chutney. Uh, so that it won't be long and the Bunyanuts will be dropping off the trees and, uh, and, there'll, be, and there'll be people uh, googling uh, recipes for Bunyanuts and um, so we're, we're making, so we've found heaps of different ways you can use Bunyanuts and this is just one of the ways. So, uh, so what I'm doing is dicing these apples, uh, got them in quarters and then I just cut them again and uh, coarsely dice them and uh, I'm, going to, I'm looking for seven cups, seven cups of apple. So, uh, so what I've got here is I've got a large coffee cup of uh, banyan nut that's been uh, boiled and taken out and uh, diced about three mil. That'd be about three mil thick, I suppose. Well, yeah, so here we agreed to combine these ingredients for this uh, bunion and ginger and apple chutney. Uh, at the same time, we've got our bread, uh, our, our bunion bread rising there. Um, so we're doing two videos in the one go. So I've got my seven cups, seven good cups of uh, chopped cooking apple here. There's the uh, Granny Smiths. Now I've got one packed cup of brown sugar, dark brown sugar. I've got one cup of uh, cider vinegar. Now this sauce is quite hot. I'm going to put about a tablespoon. This is uh, uh, sweet chilli sauce made with the ghost chilies. So I'm putting about a tablespoon of that in. Actually you could do it a little bit more. Um, it is a chutney. So. I've got half a cup of raisins. We're putting in about a teaspoon of salt and about a teaspoon of uh, mixed spice. And. Uh, I was going to put a half a cup of uh, julienne ginger, but there's pretty close to a cup there. This is a coffee cup, so uh, this is out of our freezer. So we produced it ourselves. Putting that in there, sort of. Uh, I made it uh, before, just after I harvested our ginger, and I used the whole cup of um, ginger with apples, and oh, it turned out fantastic. And uh, so we're doing this again. And I've got uh, about a teaspoon or a tablespoon of crushed garlic. So this is my homegrown garlic as well. So it'll probably end up being about a tablespoon. So, so what I'm going to do is just uh, turn the heat on and uh, bring it to the boil and just let it simmer and let it cook down. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not putting the bunion nuts in there yet. Uh, we'll put them in towards the end. So we're just going to mix it all through and uh, cook it up. Right now, so our chutney's uh, come to a simmer and uh, getting, making a bit of liquid there from the apples. So, uh, so we're just going to uh, Keep an eye on it and just let it simmer away until it forms a, a sort of a chutney appearance. And then I'll put the uh, bunion nuts in there. I just want to point out that you could, this is a beautiful chutney, and if you haven't got access to bunion nuts, you can use uh, slivered almonds. So that slivered almonds works really well. I found that tip on the internet. Just, just put them in about 10 minutes before you're about to turn the you know, heat off with the chutney. That goes with any chutney that you make. Just put in a packet or half a packet of slivered almonds. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. You can see what's happening here now. It's turning into the, uh, the appearance of chutney. There's still a couple of bits of apple that are still a little bit whitish. So uh, I'm going to put my bunion nuts in now so you can see what I've done is I've cut them in uh, slices, about three mil. Uh, there's quite a few there to go in. 
Smells nice. Oh, yeah. We can have some of our tea. Yeah, it might not be ready. Uh, just gonna let, let the bunion nut soak up some of that liquid, if it will, and uh, let it slowly simmer with the lid on and uh, come back in about 10 minutes. Right, our chutney's finished. Oh, it looks beautiful. It smells delicious. So that's what I'm aiming for, just a nice chutney consistency. Um, would have liked to see the, the bunion nuts get a little bit darker, but um, oh, that'll yes. probably soak up some happen. of it. Um, when they, uh, mm, it will happen as yeah. it marinates in there. Yeah, but uh, we're, we're going to have some for dinner with our dinner tonight. I'm having a little taste of this chutney. Let's see what it tastes like. Beautiful. Good. Beautiful. Well, we're going to enjoy our meal, aren't yeah. we? Yep. So anyway, we'll light say meal tonight. Yeah, we'll say goodbye now anyway. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.